is everybody Gotham City Games as you can see right over here it is the grand opening so we're going to be going inside and take a look at the store check out some of the really awesome retro goodness that they have here and mind you this is Brooklyn's only retro gaming store just remember that so if you are interested in checking out Gotham City Games it is located in Bay Ridge Brooklyn and the address is 503 84th Street in Brooklyn New York I will leave uh, their Facebook page down at the bottom and uh, you know whatever information I can think of here. So without further ado, let's cut over, let's uh, go inside and let's check it out.
what's up everybody we're back and i'm here with ralph the owner of gotham city games how are you sir i'm doing good thank you okay ralph so um you know for a lot of people who don't know you know the store just recently opened uh last weekend i believe yes saturday and um you know why don't you tell us a little bit more about the store like you know what made you want to branch out into to your own business well i was selling i guess i've been buying and selling video games for about four years now uh i started online ebay amazon and then i branched out to flea markets and i would do garage sales and things like that and I really just built up a big enough inventory where I felt like it was time to move to a store just to cater to the retro gamers in the area. I really felt like there was a big enough following to do it, as well as do tournaments in the store as well. It's just something that the neighborhood needed. Yeah, definitely, you know, because of course, you know, in, in New York City, there is not as many, you know, for a city as large as this, you know, with 8 million people, people think, oh, there's stores everywhere. Well. Due to the uh, contrary to believe, there really isn't. I mean, you got the two big stores. We know. If you, go, if you guys watch my channel, you know which ones I'm talking about. But of course, there are quite a few others which we will not name, just because they don't need the business. The fact that they're charging stupid amounts of money for something, you know, that is relatively cheap. And that's the thing. I mean, compared to the stores in Manhattan, you're really gonna find that my prices are better than you could find online. Actually, better anywhere. And that's that, in the city by far. I mean, you know, just from watching some of the walkthrough, if you do stop and pause, people, some of the games, and I'm looking at a couple here, they're actually at market value, if some, if not below the market value. Uh, but, you know, you also got to remember for, for his store being retail, you know, he's not going to charge, you know, 99 cents for Super Mario Duck Hunt, you know. But my point is, like, you know, just from seeing some of the prices here, you know, they are very fair to what you will find online and, you know, in, in other stores. Uh, so Ralph, so the other thing I want to say, was, well, what what got you into gaming? Like, I mean, to kind of sum it up, not too long though, but what got you into gaming from the very beginning? I mean, I just been gaming forever. Uh, the Super Nintendo was my favorite system when I was a kid, and then just playing the N sixty four after that. I don't know. I just never stopped gaming all through college and and after college, and I really just felt like I wanted to do something in the industry, and I felt like I just needed to open up my own store because I just like to be surrounded by games and just play games all day, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, I gotta do some work, but it, it's just a lot of fun. Well, okay, like, since uh, you know there are not as many stores in New York, but in general, like uh, you still see retro gaming stores popping up in and around, yeah. uh, you know, at least the tri-state area. Do you feel it's you know retro gaming in, as a whole is going up, or it's just kind of being where does you see it? I a, think a, it's a, it's it's still going up. Um, honestly, I don't like the way that some games are going up too high. Like I feel like. Some games are getting overpriced on, on eBay and Amazon. Just something that getting into it four years ago, that was when the prices were really good. They're, I feel like they're skyrocketing a little bit right now, and I think that eventually we'll start to see them decline and go back down. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the whole entire retro gaming uh, industry is going down. I think it'll, it just is a little bit of a bump right now. Yeah. And uh, I mean, it'll, it'll slow down a little bit. I mean, personally, I think it's going to go majorly huge once the, the NES hits 30 years. Yeah, that, that's, that's going to be a big deal. That's going to yeah, be a major milestone so. because now for the fact that the Genesis passed its milestone, PlayStation, uh, PlayStation, the original PlayStation Yeah, 20th it. anniversary. Uh, yeah, I mean, but I mean, I feel, in my my opinion, that NES... <laughs> <laughs> it's the ultimate those, those those yeah especially like I said I mean yeah. I grew up even though I grew up in the in the early days of Atari VCS uh, Nintendo for I'm not gonna lie even though Atari was my very first system and I was yeah. all about it but when the, you know any the Nintendo uh, company itself saved gaming in a, as a whole in America oh yeah without a doubt uh, you know I was too young really to play the Nintendo when it first came out uh, it came out the year I was born but I really grew up on the SNES but I, I did get to play the NES around the same time, and it, and it was just a great system. Yeah. It still is. It really is. It's the one that I think that changed everything. Yeah. All right. So, um, what was I gonna say? I'm a little out of it right now too. Um, what what do you? I mean, do you see more of a bigger community within retro gaming than in modern gaming, or like, what's your your take on be between? I think between that the, I, the, I know the what you're saying, and I think that there's definitely uh, a bigger draw for the modern games. But that doesn't mean that those kids can't be interested in this as well. Like, they come in here and they go, you know what, i never even seen these or played these games. And it's really just going to get kids into it. Just in Brooklyn as a whole, there's no other retro game shop like this. And it's really just going to, I think, get more people to play these games. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you definitely see it so far, even from the four years that you've been in business, you, you've seen a lot more younger, uh, younger oh, for people sure. into the gaming as like, you know, people like my age. Well, I think the, that the ages... Uh, 
for retro gaming is around like 25 to 35, probably the biggest. But I really think that there's a lot of younger kids. I know just as my customers, a lot of younger kids are starting to get into the games just because they want to play more Mario games. They want to play more Donkey Kong games. And they're available on the older systems. And exactly. then when they find them out and they play them, they really enjoy it. Yeah. Okay, Ralph. So, uh, so if people want to find out more about your store, uh, where, how can they find you? They could go on Facebook and uh, in Facebook type in Gotham City Games and you'll find my page there. Yeah. And you're located at? 503 84th Street in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. It's right off the corner of 84th and 5th Avenue. And for a lot of those who still live in the city, it's over by the R train. It's not too far. Very accessible. Two you blocks. Know, this area, you know, even if you come here a little too early like I did, yeah. uh, you know, there's a lot of good places to eat in this area. You know, check, check some of the neighborhood out. And definitely, you know, come down here and get your retro gaming fix on. So, Ralph, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thanks for coming. Right. In. Thank you, everybody, for checking out the uh, the video. And if you have any other questions or comments, you know, all the information will be down at the bottom. And you can check me out as well on Facebook and Twitter. And that's about it. Have a good one, everybody, and take care. Cheers.